Karam 18th, September 28th. On this day died Eustatios, a teacher of the faith and a preacher of the gospel. The name of the, of the father of this holy man was Christos Moa, and the name of his mother was Sanna Hiwat. And they were both righteous and feared God, and they walked in all his judgments. And when Christos Moa, after the glad tidings of an angel, begat his child, he called him Maakara Exi. When he grew up, he taught him the Psalms of David and the books of the church. Then he took him to the monastery of Abba Zakarias, his mother's brother, who when he saw him knew that the grace of God was dwelling upon him. And he, he taught him all the rules of monasticism, and he arrayed him in the apparel of the angels. And the young man fasted and prayed with such intense devotion that the elders of the monastery marveled at the sternness of his strife, and he was girded with wisdom and knowledge. After a short time, he, he was made a deacon, and he ministered in the church like St. Stephen the Archdeacon, and our Lord Jesus Christ appeared unto him with St. Michael and St. Gabriel, and he embraced him and breathed into his face the Holy Spirit. And he said unto him, O my beloved Elostatios, I have chosen you from your mother's womb, and have appointed you to become a teacher of many nations, from Ethiopia to Armenia, and you will preach the gospel without fear and trepidation. He who hears you hears me, he who rejects you rejects me. When our Lord Jesus Christ had said this unto him, he went up into heaven, and St. Elastatios went to the bishop and was appointed priest, and he began, he began to preach the faith of the gospel. At length, very many men gathered together to him, and they became monks through him, and they became disciples of him. Now the greatest of them was Abba Absadi, and he turned many from their iniquity. And at length, they forsook their evil works, and his doctrine was filled the whole earth. And in his days, and the honoring of the Sabbath and days of festival was established, and he turned it not aside from the ord ordinances of the apostles, neither to the right hand nor to the left. And he made two pilgrimages to Jerusalem. God man made manifest through him signs and wonders which were innumerable in opening the eyes of the blind and in healing the paralytics and in casting out devils. Then he decided that he would go to Jerusalem by the will of God. And he gathered together his sons and he laid upon them the charge of keeping all the canon of the monks, and of keeping themselves of, from mingling with the pagans. And he appointed his sons Absadi chief over them. And he went to Jerusalem, and kept the Sabbath as he went. And he taught the faith of Christ, and he came to the arch archbishop Abba Benjamin, and was blessed by him. And they conversed together on matters of faith. Then he went down to Jerusalem, and was blessed in holy places, and was baptized in the Jordan. He then departed to Armenia, and having arrived at the Sea of Jericho, he asked the sailors to allow him to embark in a ship. And when they prevented him from doing so, he cast his head fillet into the sea, and said it a blessing over it in the name of the Trinity, and made over it the sign of the cross. Then he got up upon the fillet as upon a ship, and two angels, angels acted as sailors. And our Lord acted as the captain. And they carried over his sons who had no fear of the terror of the sea. And Eustatio said unto his sons, Only take heed that ye do not lay up revenge and malice in your hearts. It seemeth to me, however, that one of you is about to perish. 
And before he had finished uttering these words, one of his, one of his sons dropped into the sea and was drowned because he was treasuring revenge and malice in his heart. And by God's will, they crossed over the sea and came to the country of Armenia. And he conversed with the archbishop and did homage to him and was blessed by him. When the archbishop saw him, he rejoiced with exceeding great joy, and he received him gladly. And our father Eustatios continued to teach the men of Armenia the canons of the apostles, which are in the ordinance of the synod, until they were all one brotherhood in the doctrine. When the time for his departure from this world had drawn nigh, our Lord Jesus Christ appeared unto him and made a covenant with him in respect of those who should invoke his name, and those who should celebrate his commemoration, and those who should do the, in writing the story of his fight. And when he died, the bishops and priests prepared him for a burial with great honor, and they buried him in the church of Mar Merham, the martyr, and, and many miracles happened through, through his body, Salutation to Eustatios and to his cloak whereon he crossed the sea.